so one of the hardest things you might have to do will be actually starting something new and mainly that might be, like, might result from a couple of things firstly you have no experience doing that thing and mostly people want to be only keep like doing things that they're good at and they really don't want to be bad at something but being bad at something is how you get better at it repetition yeah and that's one of the things that makes starting few so seems so scary seems so insane because we're not really willing to go through the process of learning we are willing but not to that extent whereby like we can't stand a vision of ourselves as bad at something so instead of like going through the process of just being bad and sure you get good at something we really just avoid that process altogether and that's something that i've kind of just like um come to like in terms with come to accept and like being bad at something when starting out and that's how you get better at it so just keep on doing it regardless of how terrible you are at it like couple months ago three months ago i tried three three months ago yeah i tried, tried uh boxing for instance i was really trash at it trash for the first first let me like it said two weeks after two weeks my shoulders kept on past almost like dying on me maybe like a couple minutes into the workout into the uh meat workout and after some, after some time, repetition, repetition, you start to get a flow for it, a flow, a feel for it, and before you know it, you're actually moving like the best of them, like some, like some extent. Yeah. So, whatever you want to do is, I mean, just be consistent with it, come on, consistent with it. Kind of like picking up, like, I don't know, dropping pickup lines, you know, dropping raps, or making music, or sports, art, whatever you want to do, science, school work, come on, work, uh, whatever stuff you want to do. Yeah, you're gonna be trash at it when starting. You're gonna be like the really like the worst, the worst of them. And mostly, I feel like we're just used to seeing this level of perfection from, because uh, being on social media or wherever, uh, most of the stuff that's pushed to us is kind of like of a higher quality to where like oh, this must this must be must, must be the norm, but it's really an exceptional stage or level of development that we usually see. And we think that's where that's what we're supposed to be like. Yeah, and honestly, uh, one of the things that helps is just like learning to trust the process, trust the process, trust yourself, put some faith in yourself, and whatever you're doing, some time, and just dedication, dedication. I remember one of the best guitarists, I mean, like, was like, you need to spend time with your instrument. What does he mean by that? Practice, come on. Practice makes perfection, and perfection is really non existence because there's always room for improvement, and that can't be the best if it can be better. So, come on about perspective perspective really and having a goal plan and i don't know sometimes what's those procrastination is having people who can keep you accountable for your goals maybe let's say you arrange something in advance and you have people who can actually be able to tell you in advance like okay this is what you need to do and this you need to be here this time you need to be here this time and also having the drive to do to push yourself is really really important because most of the skills you have you develop them alone on your own when no one is actually there and that's kind of like the defining factor of who you are as a person is who do you become when there's no one there when there's no one actually pushing you who do you become and uh what actually drives you what pushes you what moves you what are you trying to achieve that's something that really helped me uh progress and get better at a lot of things in a short amount of time because unconsciously i put in insane amounts of hours on the things that I was interested in and zero time the things that I was not really interested in I didn't mind, I didn't mind being work as long as I enjoyed it so this is another learning tool that kind of helps um, do things for, for the pleasure of it, for the fun of it I mean like let's say for example reading for self-improvement at first it was like it was work, it was like a lot of work I never liked to do it, I never wanted to do it, not even once, not even to come but eventually got fun like study out, study out as a chore or something i had to do because i needed it and then from time to time i used to i developed the habit for it and now i do enjoy it come on i'll go through two books like it's nothing and reading for self-improvement was something that that really like helped me uh change my perspective on a lot of things because now instead of just relying on my own uh, bubble of information, I'm also tapping into people who have lived experience more than I have and have made bigger mistakes on a grander scale. And I get to learn from that all just because I picked up something on a Kindle or something like that. Yeah. And it's really, really, really epic.
So get over your fear of starting and just endeavor. Be brave enough to actually go through life and experience it how you want to. And just deciding not to live by other people's terms is something that is easier said than done because you also have to be willing to put in the work to get that to that level of freedom that you want. And that level of freedom may cost you, like, what's, what's freedom worth to you? Is that like what is freedom really worth to you? Like what would what are you willing to give up to actually gain that freedom to, to wake up and do whatever you want? Like, are you willing to like put in the two hour shifts on your own on your own grind and actually get to the point where you can actually make that a reality? Because all ideals are just ideals and you actually act upon them and being able to act upon them is the, the other part again. That goes back to the ability to start. A lot of dreams just die out as dreams. Because we never actually take the steps to make them happen and recently just been pushing myself to go the extra mile and things like depression yeah cool they might type might be depressed you might be low but the moment you feel better get back to your grind and that's why things like discipline come into play because discipline is like okay cool you know how you when you have a nine to five regardless of how you're feeling you're feeling low whatever you are maybe you might be very sick as well you might take a sick note but if you're feeling low you should go for work you're feeling like lazy hangover you should go for work I feel like you should treat your dreams in the same manner like regardless of how you feel just be disciplined enough to actually get the job done like do what needs to be done and eventually um everything will begin to compound 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 and build up from smaller victories and the sooner you see your victories somehow the better it is for you there's this, this thing about winning and they always like you win with, with something like maybe you do something you get I don't know it's just a different feel like, I remember winning my first round battle come on that, that was wild the feel the excitement the adrenaline it's the same thing as surviving a fight or winning a fight the energy the hype the confidence it's just different it slaps different it's like addictive it's like you want some more of that and that's just enough drive for you going i feel like the the reason why has never been the most important part because people achieve everything and different things with different motives different reasons but the reason isn't really the driving factor like make up your reasons if you have to I'm more interested uh, uh be more interested in actually getting it done getting the work done getting done what needs to be done and that's the most important part of it all yeah so yeah, they have to be different. They have to start where everyone start and keep going. Yeah, I'm just in color. Peace. Oh, subscribe, like, comment, share, share that good stuff. I might talk about other random stuff. It's never really planned. I just think this all and talk. Peace out.